I overcame my fear of public speaking and now give presentations for a living. First of all, I had to realize that the audience is on my side, but also that they don't care about me. Nobody in the audience came to my presentations to take notes and remember every time I made a mistake. The aim of the audience was not to notice every time I stumbled or turned red in the face or that my voice shook. The audience wants our presentation to be engaging. The last thing they want is a negative experience. But on the flip side, they also don't care about us. The audience is only thinking about themselves. Think about any time you sat in a presentation. Odds are, your mind drifted. And you started to have a conversation with yourself. I wonder how much longer this goes. goes I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Is that a cafe still open? Paying attention is hard work. And that's why as presenters, we can forget about the audience thinking about us because they're not. That part of our fear is completely in our own minds. And instead to overcome my fear of public speaking, I had to figure out ways to engage the audience, bring their attention back to me, which was what I was scared of in the first place. But by deliberately engaging the audience, by choosing how they engage with me, I was taking control of my own presentation and starting to take control of the fear. I did this by setting challenges for myself. And as I started to overcome my fear of public speaking, I made those challenges harder. The first challenge was to see how many people I could make eye contact with. If you struggle with this like I did, I started by focusing on a person's face and not actually their eyes. So I would look at their eyebrows or if they had glasses, I'd look at the rim of their glasses or I'd look at their hairline. I would look at their face, but not their actual eyes. And I would do this for one sentence or when I was making one point in my presentation. And then I would pick somebody else in my audience and do the same thing. Once I started to become more comfortable, I alternated. So I'd look at somebody's face and then the next person I looked at, I actually made eye contact with. And I only did it for one sentence because I found it really hard and then to give myself a break I would look at the back wall of where I was presenting and the people sitting in the audience just think that you're making eye contact with somebody behind them and over time I increased the amount of people I was making eye contact with then I started to see if I could make my audience laugh which is actually quite difficult I'm not a comedian I get them to laugh by breaking from my presentation and connecting with them and I often do that using metaphors I connect something in my presentation with something in their everyday life something that they can easily relate to and it acts as an icebreaker for both the audience audience and for me. And in some cases, I took this to the extreme of using actual icebreakers in my presentations. For example, making people stand up and do something and then sit back down. But the hardest challenge I set myself was getting the audience to understand my presentation and then remember my main points. This challenge had two parts. The first was making sure my presentation was clear and easily understood. And the second part was that I would follow up with the audience afterwards. I would pick a few people and I would go up and I would talk to them, which originally was also terrifying. But I had something to talk about, the presentation that I had just given. This challenge is as hard as it sounds, but it forced me to make my presentation interesting and engaging and easily understood, which also forced me to be prepared. And being prepared is the best tool we can use against a fear of public speaking. But I'll tell you a secret. I still get nervous before every presentation. The difference is now I use that nervous energy and that is a skill we can all learn.